What is the result when you multiply 2 to the 3rd by 2 to the 4th? What's your guess? Let's explore. In this lesson, you will learn how to multiply two or more exponential expressions by exploring and generalizing a pattern. Let's review. An exponent tells you how many times to multiply a base number by itself. So a multiplication statement like 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 can be rewritten in exponential form as 2 to the 5th power, where 2 is the base and 5 is the exponent, also known as the power. Also, the associative property of multiplication states that you can regroup numbers in a multiplication sentence. Notice that this property states we can either multiply a times b, then multiply the result by c, and it will be the same as if we multiplied b by c, then multiplied the result by a. Here's an example with actual numbers. If we multiply 2 by 3, we get 6, then we multiply that by 4. Or if we multiply 3 by 4 first, we get 12, then multiply that by 2. Either way, we get 24. Back to the original question. Here I have written each of the exponential expressions in parentheses with no operations in between. Anytime two parentheses are written next to each other with no operation in between, the operation is multiplication. Often, students think that 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 4th equals 2 to the 12th because they, th they multiply the two exponents. Or they think that the answer is 4 to the 12th because they multiply the bases and the exponents but we'll quickly find that neither is correct. We know that 2 to the third power means 2 times 2 times 2. And we know that 2 to the fourth power means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Since we are multiplying these two expressions, we can simply write them next to each other. And now, using the associative property, we can regroup it so that instead of multiplying the twos in separate parentheses, we can multiply them one at a time in one big parentheses. So we see 2 multiplied by itself seven times. Knowing what we do about exponents, we can write this more simply as 2 to the power of 7. So 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 4th was not 2 to the 12th as some might have expected because we are not multiplying 2 by itself 12 times. The answer is actually 2 to the 7th. We can verify this by actually completing the multiplication for each exponential expression. 2 to the 3rd means 2 times 2 times 2, 2 to the 4th means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and 2 to the 7th means 2 times itself 7 times. Uh, 2 to the 3rd ends up being 8, while 2 to the 4th ends up being 16, and 2 to the 7th is 128. 8 times 16 is 128, so we get the same result either way. Now, 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 4th is equal to 2 to the 7th. Do you see a pattern here? Notice that the exponent on the product, 7, was the same as the sum of the exponents in the original multiplication sentence, 3 and 4. This makes sense because we multiplied a total of seven twos. This will always happen when multiplying exponential expressions with the same base. The new exponent is the total number of times you are multiplying the base by itself. Here we have b as a base multiplied by itself a times. Then that result is multiplied by b as a base multiplied by itself c times. a plus c just represents the total number of times we use b as a base. Here's an example. We are to simplify this expression by rewriting it as a single exponential expression. First notice that the base of both exponents is 10. So I want you to visualize expanding this to 4 tens in a multiplication sentence times 7 more tens in a multiplication sentence. Once we do this, we see 11 tens in a multiplication sentence. My hope is that you soon start visualizing this expansion on your own and you can see that you can just take the sum total of 4 plus 7, or get 10 to the 11th power. In this next example, notice that both of the bases are some number x. So I want you to visualize expanding this into 3x's in a multiplication sentence times 15 more x's in, an, in a multiplication sentence. Can you see the string of 3 plus 15 x's, or 18 x's in a multiplication sentence? So the answer is x to the 18th. Be careful with this last example. Notice that two of the three bases are the same. They're four. But the third base is a two. So we can use the commutative property to reorder the problem so that the two similar bases are right next to each other. We now see that we'll add the exponents on the fours and get four to the eighth. But two to the third has to stay separate because it has a different base. So this is our final answer. In this lesson, you have learned how to multiply two or more exponential expressions by exploring and generalizing a pattern.